I wanted to、um, tell you about a group that started on Facebook a couple of weeks ago. I kind of lost it and started ranting on my Facebook page about frustration I felt listening to news coverage that made it seem like the Tea Party was、um, representative of America. I completely disagree with this, and I started, you know. Writing comments about it on my Facebook page, and then there was a flurry of <laughs> instant feedback from other people who agreed with me and similarly felt pent up and frustrated. The group was called the Coffee Party Movement, and obviously we're referencing the Tea Party. That we're an alternative to the Tea Party, and we want to see cooperation、um, in among people in Congress and in government. And we want to see people who are representing us move towards solutions to the problems instead of, you know, strategically obstructing any form of progress. Many people believe this is an effective electoral strategy to win, you know, Republican seats in 2010, and we object to ob obstructionism and extreme political tactics that. Are I think、um, are fear-based, not reality-based, and in many ways just deliberate misinformation. So we're organizing. We want people to understand that we're voters. That we're going to come out to vote. We're going to participate in the process. We're going to make sure that we hold people accountable for obstructing progress in government. We need everyone. Engaged in the political process, that is the only way our government can function as an expression of our collective will. And we need people in this country and in the media to understand that this is America. We believe that we're representing ordinary Americans, and we believe that we're in the majority. We really have a collection of people who value diversity, are diverse, and we're completely comfortable with the changing demographics of our country. You know, I think that it's human for people to be nervous about you know changes in their neighborhoods and in the in demographics of this country, but it's not something that should be encouraged, and it certainly should should not be an opportunity for political gain. And and I think really the politicians who are exploiting that fear and anxiety for political gain, they're really the worst. We're not saying that we have all the solutions. But we need cooperation in order to solve problems. You know, if you have people who are out to obstruct even dialogue, then we can't have a functioning government. And I think it might be that you know we have solutions that are more in line with fiscal conservatism. But we do know that none of those things can be even considered at this point because we're so divided and our process has broken down. So that's why we're. Organizing because the process has broken down. Do you want to see cooperation, or do you want to see obstructionism in Congress? Do you believe that the government can help us address these enormous problems that we're facing? You know, if you don't believe that the government has any role, then yeah, you should join the Tea Party. But you know, there are many of us who believe that. We have to have the government addressing these things, representing our interests. People in Congress, they're paid by us. We hire them. Okay, they work for us, right? They don't work for corporations or a sliver of our demographic. They are supposed to represent us. That's their job, and we need to. I start acting like bosses. We need to start acting like the like boards of directors. Like we we need them to get to work, you know, instead of fighting. And we need people to get out of the way, you know. So it's a really open invitation for people to participate, believing that the government should function for our interests.